Hi, it's Tom. We're uh, putting up our Intex pool, the 12 by 24. Um, I'll uh, reply to the one guy's video on this that um, the pad's got to be level. So underneath here is uh, two by sixes times two, two two by sixes. Um, yeah, I can't lift that one up. But they're level with the ground, so when this thing comes up, it'll um, the sides won't be all cattywampus or bent out because it's too high. Um, I kind of see what I did here. Um, and I got two by sixes. They're probably about a foot long. Um, put them in the ground, level, hopefully with the ground. Already got a trail of ants going back here. Um, the pool's about maybe a foot high. Um, I went inside and slid around in my bathing suit to get some of the wrinkles out, hit up against the sides. You know, just like slide, run and slide up against the sides, and that kind of get the wrinkles out when it's got about a foot of water in it. Um, I got the pool pump set up, all the hoses and stuff. You gotta be careful when you're tightening some of these valves here. Um, this, I bought this pool last year. I started tightening these up, and they, I got gorilla hands or mechanic hands, and they kind of uh, stripped and popped. So I backed them off, cleaned them up. The other thing somebody told me is uh, put uh, Vaseline on the threads. That way they'll be easier to uh, undo or take apart later on down the road. I'm going to probably go to Intex and order a couple of these. The other thing that Intex does is this plastic sleeve right here. Um, if you want to buy this plastic sleeve, one of mine is kind of cracked. They actually want you to buy the whole pole just to get the plastic sleeve, which is kind of hokey. Um, but um, this thing's uh, still got some bow to it. I leveled the ground pretty good. Same, it's basically in the same spot it was before. Um, and the main thing is, is once it's filling, you walk around and you grab these and pull them out as you can. And um, hopefully the pool's level once it's all full. But once it's full, it is what it is. So make sure you got your ground pretty clear, pretty pretty level. Um, I dragged that pallet around in the backyard and I took a bunch of nails and put them in a board to loosen up the dirt to get it kind of kind of movable and dragged it for about, I don't know, an hour or two. You see my donut circle over here. <laughs> I kept going around these poles. Uh, these poles, you're wondering what those are. Uh, I use those for a giant PVC, which is that one right there on top of the shed. And that holds my um, pool cover and the, my solar cover. Um, I ha actually had two of them, but I brought it down to one. Um, I used the drainage pipe. As you can see, it kind of bends. I even put rivets in it. Um, so maybe a little bit thicker pole would actually work to keep your pool cover. So I had two of these in the back and then two like right over here somewhere. I pulled those up and I'm just gonna uh, put the one big pipe up there. I also got um, I got uh, half inch black irrigation tube up on the roof. Uh, I used that last year. I don't know if you can see, but I had a piece of plywood that's all coiled up there. There's about 750 feet of uh, irrigation tubing up there, and I ran it. Over here, down these tubes right here, off of the roof, and um, the pump I was using was like a pond pump. It, it was really noisy. It uh, came on about every 15 minutes, the way I had it set up to keep the, the pool warm. But um, I'm going to try a different setup this year. Uh, bigger pump, quieter. Uh, might go with uh, inch, inch and a half uh, black PVC. And maybe string it back and forth across the roof on some uh, one buys or something like that. 
So this is Tom filling up the Intex pool out. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. When we slid the, the tubes in, we had a lot of wrinkles last year. Um, kind of see this one, but uh, when I slid the tubes in, we used like a um, Vaseline or a um, lubricant of some nature. And um, hopefully when it comes uh, all stretched out, some of these wrinkles will come out of this thing. You get, get a lot of wrinkles from it. Um, we'll try to um, let you know how that went too as well. Uh, Tom, filling up the Intex. Ouch.